First, I imported reference images to the scene. Then I started modeling with a polygon plane. Then I model the front side. This is the front bumper. I have made some holes for the lights and steps. This was going to be a low poly model. So I didn't want to include many details. This is the bottom part of the model. This is the step. This is the headlight. As you can see there is some thick glass as well as some cubic small lights. These are some props in the front bumper. This is the tire. I use the spin tool to duplicate the tire treads around the wheel. I use the same method for bolts as well. This is the low details arm set. I've used some reference images from Google to design that. This is how it looks with the bottom part of the truck. I made a grill using an array modifier. This is the top section of the truck. I duplicated these parts two times. I applied the mirror modifier to this part as both sides are different. I was not going to model the interior, so I made simple windows. This is a simple door hinge made by polygon cylinders. I don't know what are these. Anyway, it's nice to have some meshes to keep things professional. These are the roof doors. This is how the model looks with a human character. I have to adjust the scale a little bit. This is the simple low poly interior I made. This is a simple wiper made from cubes. I used a subdivision modifier to model seats. I beveled some edge loops to add more realism to the model. I created a new collection and added unwrapped meshes to that collection to make things clean. This is the fully unwrapped model. This is the main body. I was planning to create 4K textures for that. I had to separate moving parts such as wipers, so the ambient occlusion map won't affect when moving those parts. Also, I separated the headlight glasses as I didn't want to add the ambient occlusion effect to them. This is the bottom section. I was planning to create 2K map for it. All the moving parts are separated. After texturing, we can mirror the left side suspension arm and wheels. This is the interior section. I was planning to create a 512 by 512 map to it. For these three wheels, 2K map would be enough. I used UV Packmaster plugin to pack the UV islands. I chose 4x4 for anti-aliasing and only same mesh name for self-occlusion as I wanted to bake ambient occlusion for each separate mesh. I chose the same for curvature and thickness maps. I added an ambient occlusion channel as there were some ambient occlusion artifacts in my model. I chose replace as the ambient occlusion mixing. Also, I added an opacity channel as there were glasses in my model. I chose alpha blending shader for the scene. This is my layer stack. This is my ambient occlusion layer. This is how I fix the ambient occlusion artifact on both sides. This is the base steel layer. This is the steel rust material. I wanted to apply this only for the steps. So I masked it with grunge. I added a paint layer and chose the steps and made the mask multiply. This is how I masked the steps. This is the bump layer for the steps. This is the black rough layer for metal parts. This is the black shiny layer for metal parts. This is the main color of the body. I wanted to add a rusty wear for the model. So I add a rust layer and mask it with gun edges mask and a paint layer. This is the reflector material for the side mirrors and lights. I wanted to use simple material for LEDs. This is the black rough non-metallic material for parts like plastics. This is the black shiny and this is for the headlights. I used fully transparent glass material for the windscreen and windows. Since I didn't model the interior for the rear cabin, 
I use dark blue color shiny material for the rear windows. This group is for the tail light materials. I used another gray color layer with the multiply blending mode and masked it with a tile generator. This is the base dust layer. I added the paint mask to paint on the ambient occlusion artifacts. This is the ground dirt. I excluded the headlight glass from the ground dirt. This is the leaks layer. First, I added the leaks grunge. Then I added a paint layer on top of it and deselect all the objects. I chose paint layers blending mode to multiply. Then I painted on the necessary parts just like this. Then I added another paint layer to paint on the top of the truck. I masked the windscreen with dark gray color to remove some dirt. The same goes for the side mirror. Then I added another dust layer only for the side mirror. This is the mask for wiper tracks. First I painted on the painted layer and I realized I have painted on other parts too. So I created another paint layer and masked the windscreen only. I created a full rough black material for the engine which we couldn't see. And this is for the grills. This is the bottom part of the truck. I created metal and dust layers just like I did for the main body. This is the interior part. I didn't spend much time on this as this was a simple interior. These are the left wheels. I created layers just like I did for the main body. This is a simple wear layer. This is the base dust. This is the simple and inverted dirt mask. Then I removed some dirt using a paint layer. This is another dirt layer. This is for the rim. This was my final render. Thank you for watching.